Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Zombie Party. It's a isometric roguelike uh, with, I guess, shooting elements kind of like Nuclear Throne or Enter the Gungeon. It's a little bit uh, simpler with, like, kind of more RPG mechanics than uh, Gungeon or Nuclear Throne, which is kind of neat. Uh, but I was uh, told to play this as part of the previous setup for the game of the month by Endergrim, and then I changed the whole system on him. And felt bad because obviously he had uh, he had been the only Patreon uh, Game Wisp supporter uh, under the like suggestion tier, so I'm gonna do this anyway. So Zombie Party looks like it's fun. I've already gone through the tutorial, so hopefully it's going to be enjoyable. So we've got hmm. Okay. I guess let's start with dungeon. No, we'll start with adventure, then we'll try dungeon, and go from there. Oh, so I can pick different characters, and they have different stats. So, strength... L ooh, I see. They start with a different weapon entirely. Well, let's start with, uh, Johnny. There we go. Wait, guns... Handgun? Oh, I see. So we get gold that we can bring with us. But I don't have any. So, okay, there we go. Cycle magic, shoot, use magic item. Yeah, I already know these things. Dark Forest Zone. So, effectively, it's just wave-based. We're set out in this big open area, and we have to we have to mow through uh, large group groups of zombies and, I guess, spiders. I was not exactly expecting the spiders along the way here, but that's fine. Hopefully, the loot that we, uh, that we get from killing these guys doesn't just disappear on me immediately. I have... I have no idea. I'll have to look into more, more of this later. Okay. Yeah, the pistol has unlimited ammo, which is why I decided... Let's let's start with that first. It seems like the um, more reasonable option, honestly. So, one thing I do kind of like about this... Oh, that's a new thing. Okay. Oh, that's that's a split shot. Nice. It looks like it's a um, temporary thing, though. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure how any of this stuff works. But yeah, wave survival, and I'm apparently farting fire. Like crazy. Oh, and it's gone now. So it looks like uh, those were temp pickups. Maybe? We've got a split shot that might be a little bit more long-lasting. And size, I've lost my cursor. There it is. Well, I will gladly run with a split shot pistol. With big bullets and stuff like that. Okay, uh, next wave in 12. Well, we've got those runes there. Ah. I'm just gonna pour it into strength, I think, for the time being. Oh, we've got a... We've got a dude. Dude has... I'm too poor. Well, that's fine. Let's let's just go pick up uh, everything. I wonder if there's, like, a, a sprint button. That'd be nice. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we've got uh, some big-looking suckers. So they won't go down in one. Oh, good. Speed up. Nice. Good opportunity to corral them, but mainly just, uh, ah. That's a good opportunity to corral them. Why is they, why are they farting? What is, what is the, what is this? I have no idea. Well, I think we get po poison bullets too. I'm just gonna, oh, it's the, um, it's the big spiders. They're the ones, uh, dumping. Uh, stuff on me. Oh, I have spells. And items that I can use. Okay. I'll have to take a look at some of these in a second. I'm just trying to keep my distance and, you know, not take any damage early on. We're getting all sorts of weird goodies, though. Damage, size... Uh, I almost kind of wish it was one of those where I could press, like, ready. Okay, so what's this? Dagger, cooldown, I don't know. Let's see, how much money do I have? Only 42. I mean, I could buy a... I could buy a gun. Do I start with any of those? I might already. I'm mostly focused in on this pistol. Well, let's buy the Hellfire. I assume the Hellfire also has unlimited ammo, so it seems like a good idea to... Yep. Seems like a good idea to pick up the uh, anything that has unlimited ammo. We'll figure out ammo later, and honestly, we are getting a ton of ammo just by being here. Okay, so... Melee weapon... Go! 
I have this. I didn't realize I had... I have a lot of weapons, apparently, not just the pistol. I'm gonna stick with the pistol for the time being. I wanted to switch spells here. There we go. Because that spell actually seems like it's rather decent. Okay, Tiny Fortify Strength Potion. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, well that was much shorter, but I wanted to go down here and check out some of these. We got a... We're getting all sorts of weird bits. Ricochet, Heavy Rounds, Magic Defense. Yeah, the shop's kind of pointless because I'm uh, crazy rich. Super guns work well on bosses. There's bosses. News to me. Okay, well, I'm gonna start with the fire rate plus. We're just going to go bananas because I apparently have no choice. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's look at the dagger. I'm not exactly keen on that. Looks like magic might not be a bad uh, system to spend some more time and effort into. Okay, I don't want to get headed off here. There we go. I need something with a little bit more splash, I think. Sticky. Okay. I mean, technically I could, uh, I could probably use and abuse the fact that I do have other guns. I just kind of like the pistol. The pistol is uh, nice and reliable. I don't even know where my cursor is at this point. Though we are getting, a uh, crazy rocket am ammunition. This seems like it would be fun in multiplayer. Oh, boss. Are you ready to get funky? And it is the zombie boss. Well, I don't know what this is. I'm going to assume none of those are mine. Uh-oh. Nice part is... I can jump... Hup. He's got lasers. Hup. Okay. This is... R honestly, probably one of the more childish roguelikes I've ever played. But I also appreciate it because it's... Kind of interesting. Okay, so I, I ran out of that one. Oh, I'm just gonna fire this, whatever the heck this is. I mean, I think we're gonna do fine. I believe in myself. Homing rockets. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use all of my like ridiculous spells. Okay. Uh. I don't think I've taken a single hit. Yeah, managed to avoid it. Okay, and it looks like uh we're we're good to go. I don't know if these I don't know if anything disappears here, so let's make sure we grab the money first and foremost, I guess. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it doesn't look like it disappears. And then we can manage my character. Okay, go to the teleporter when you're ready to continue. Awesome. We'll look into that later. Uh, let's see. Well, this is fun. It's, uh... Again, kind of childish. I think if it had, like, a... A more... What am I gonna say? Serious art style? Uh, I think I'd be able to take it more seriously, but the the actual execution is nice. Okay, so let's level up first. Let's go strength, as always. So what do we got? Sticky. AoE poison. Well, let's take out the dagger. Dagger's meaningless. Bomb. Oh, I can just sell these things. So shot ice. Grenade. Amethyst potion. Increased damage. Warhammer. Um... I'll try Warhammer. Okay, uh, let's expand this up a little bit. So we got size, split, and ricochet. So size probably doesn't matter that much. Electric bolt, heavy rounds, damage plus plus. Oh. I can't just swap them. Okay, spread shot, split, and ricochet. Okay, so let's do spread shot, and let's do damage. I'm not entirely sure what heavy rounds do. Let's just go back to our basic pistol. Uh just gonna pile size in there, ricochet. Probably on this. Okay, I'll figure out the rest of that later. Okay, liking this pistol so far. Uh let's take a look. So I don't I got 119 gold.
So we probably want to actually save up for the blaster. Yeah, let's save up for the blaster. Or... Oh, it just keeps going. There's the dual gats. The kunai. Flintlock, SP. Robo beam. Yeah, so it looks like we can effectively pump all of our money into, like, a, a stronger main hand weapon. That's cool. So each of these is, like, slot related, I think. I'm going to assume as such. Because I, I don't think I can do anything with these. Okay, the only other question is gun, mad ar gun mod, artifact, random rune, super gun, and skill point. Okay, well, I think I'm fine, fine for this for the time being. So let's just uh, go into the teleport and let's just hope that uh, being thrifty is going to work out for us. I might give the dungeon... Yeah, I'll give the dungeon crawl a go on the next round. Oh, I had to press that to break out. Am I up against penguins? No? Looks like the penguins are... Looks like the penguins are, uh, benign. These things, on the other hand, not so benign. Luckily, we do a boatload of damage. So that seems kind of encouraging, these sound effects. I might actually have to... I, I think this might actually be one of those games where we listen to the sound effects for all of one episode. And then we switch to my own music and, my, and no sound effects, because... Yeah, I don't know. It's going to get a little uh, annoying kind of quickly. Got to remember, I've got uh, spells that I can use too. Shame the poison AoE has uh, such a short, uh, short range. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Baseball bat. Yeah, there's melee weapons, but this is most definitely not the kind of game that you'd really want to do melee in. I like the fact that it shows you where the enemies generally are and stuff like that. This is for a like wave survival thing. This is ain't this ain't bad. Reminds me of uh oh, shoot. Hero some defense. Oh, can I attack the shop? I hope I hope you can't like piss off the shopkeeper. That'd be bad. Um God, I should actually look back into it. There was a, uh, a fun-ish, like, uh, wave survival co-op RPG, uh, that we try we've tried playing in the past. The problem was ultimately the, um, ultimately the netcode was like the hottest of garbages. Uh, it made it a lot harder to do any kind of series on. Like we'd, we'd start recording and it would just. Uh, it would just poop itself. It was, it was awful. We'd have to, like, spend half of our time sitting around in the lobby being like, So... Hamburger artifact. Confusing. Probably modifies my shots somehow. I don't know. I'll have to look into it, see if maybe they've improved the netcode. Because that was something that uh, my buddy Sebastian SB really wanted to do a series on. Uh, but we never got the chance to. Just because it did, it was non-functional. It's interesting. Like half the time, these guys don't even feel like shooting at me. Well, works out in my favor. Yeah, I'm probably gonna switch the. Uh, I'm probably gonna switch the poison spell out. It requires me to be up close and personal. And if all of these guys are going to be uh, spitting ranged attacks at me, I kind of don't want to be up close and personal. Period. I'm curious how many mods you can get. I almost wish the mods were, like, less powerful, but you could just keep stacking them forever if you really wanted to. Because I'm actually pretty content just using and abusing the fact that I've got a, uh, unlimited ammo pistol to roll with. Well, it doesn't seem like I need to replace my weapon immediately, so I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna keep, uh, thrifting it up here. And we'll get a, uh... We'll get a new handgun 
or the kunai or something like that. After, uh, after the, this area's boss. I mean, I, st I, I still haven't even taken a hit yet. So, it's kind of bo boosting my confidence. I gotta mostly just make sure that none of these guys get the jump on me. They're starting to get it. I, I've noticed kind of hanging out near the edges might be a good idea. No, they're still spawning near the edges. Well, it's okay. Circle, circle strafe to win every fight. That's how it works in these games. For better or worse. But yeah, some kind of like piercing beam attack or an explosion. As far as like my magic would probably be the best. Hey! My name is Mr. Frosty and I run this gingerbread house. Town. Shoot. Okay, well... I have a super beam. Awesome. Oh. He's not really hittable while he's bouncing. I guess we'll just keep her distance or something. There we go. Well, this boss is out, non threatening. Should have jumped, probably. I thought I was going to be able to make make the gap. Well, I guess I got a bunch of these. I'm just going to take out his minions. Though it looks like they, uh... They keep spawning forever. Okay, yeah, his patterns are getting a little bit more cumbersome. Mainly, he's just getting too close to me. There we go. Hey, and we get a hamburger for our, uh, for our troubles. That'll put me back up to full, and then we can figure out managing our character. Our character, my character, everybody's character. So we get a skill point, we get slow-mo, which is kind of useless. Okay, uh, let's check inventories here. So, let's see, shot, poison, electric explosion. Let's sell the poison shots and whatnot. We've got grenades and stuff, which I really should probably use. I'm not feeling the baseball bat that much. Lightsaber, I'm feeling I'm feeling lightsaber. Okay, so what else we got? We've got piercing. Oh. Split fire rate artifact. Hamburger artifact. I'm going to go with that. Well, let's try piercing instead of split plus plus. Mm. Let's see, do I do fire rate? No. Let's do split on this. Fire rate on the shotgun, heavy rounds. I'm just kind of loading it up with whatever I can get right now. Okay. Oh. That might actually be terrible. Oh, do we not get a shop? I don't see a shopkeeper. I might have pissed him off. Oh yeah, we should probably switch back to the pistol. But yeah. Is it just me or has my fire rate gone up? I exploded that penguin. Okay, well one way or another, the, ex the electric explosion is garbage. I guess we can uh, load up some of the other moves, see if they're any good. I guess we was, we've always got the lightsaber. Which apparently costs ma mana. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, shopping the next time we get the chance. But I think maybe, maybe after the next boss I'll turn on my own music. I just... Hello. This place... Looks not exactly uh, pleasant. Can I block projectiles with it? I have no idea. Well, I guess I should probably use my pistol. After all. Yeah, so piercing seems to work fairly well. Lightsaber, not really feeling that.
Oh, is is sticky grenade reusable? Okay, I'm gonna try that. Oh, that's neat. Okay, sticky grenade sounds pretty useful. I might look into the bomb or the uh, or a couple of the other things. Okay, uh, you. How much money do I got? Three hundred and fifty. Alien gun, brass knuckles, robo beam. Let's do shuriken. And random rune. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh, did it pause while I was? Oh, it pauses while I'm in these. Okay, that's useful. Uh, let's see. So we have ice storm. Okay, ice storm seems reasonable. Let's try the bomb instead. I don't. I don't know if this is a good idea. It looks terrible. Well, we'll go with it anyway. Maybe I'll use the shotgun for once. Oh, I'm 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 liking these uh I'm liking these shuriken. Now if I okay. So it does not look like uh oh yeah, the shuriken have like mild homing, if I remember right. At least something had mild homing. Well, one way or another. Ha! Ah. Spawned right on my head. Uh, one way or another, the, the basic weapon here is kind of ridiculous. I love it. I, I'm glad that this isn't one of those where the pistol is just this, like, sad pea shooter that does nothing. Oops. Uh, let's see. Do we even buy anything at this point? I don't think I'm going to get anything better than the shuriken at this point. Maybe the robo beam. Probably not. Well, I guess let's just go pick up all of our random crap. Actually, do I have a? I do have a skill point. Let's keep saving up for strength. Uh, because otherwise we got HP. Eh. I mean, okay. Uh, let's let's save up for speed. Ah. Okay. We might actually end up needing a hamburger somewhere in this process. I was not expecting them to actually spawn right in front of me. And unfortunately with all the uh, effects that I'm just plowing in on the screen, stacking on the screen, I don't know. Uh, it makes it a little bit hard, hard to actually follow, like, oh, by the way, dodge, question mark. Okay. Just gonna mess around with these. Tons of ammo. Okay, let's check our inventories for a second. So we got piercing plus plus, homing plus plus, and grow. At some point I'll use some of these, probably. Rainbow bomb. Damage 18, damage 9, size. Size cooldown. Oh, life is probably how many charges they have. I'll have to think about that. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, so I can afford a random rune. I probably want to start buying skill points here. Seems like generally the, uh, the best... best thing to work with. Because those last. Oh. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. Oh, they're spawning on my head. Yeah, okay, we definitely we definitely need to start pumping some points into speed. Extra damage would be nice, but the enemies move faster than I do. My only saving grace is that I'm ridiculous. But we need to be able to uh we need to be able to outpace them or we are going to have problems. I mean, eventually I'm probably going to just die here. And that's okay too. I wish there were... Oh, hey, good. Hamburger. Uh, I wish there were almost more abilities? Well, I guess we should probably level up first. Speed is not that uh, noticeable of a difference. Oh, that's okay. Let's just keep going. Yeah, so I think in spite of this, I, I think uh, what would be the phrasing? In spite of the game, I like it. Uh, it's got a lot of like kind of fun basic, uh, basic premises that make it kind of enjoyable. The depth itself, on the other hand, I I'd say needs some work. Uh, I, I like I like how the effects like kind of combo together and stuff like that. Maybe I should. Uh, oh. Well, 
Well, that's kind of neat. Okay, the, the bomb's interesting. I'll have to spend more time on it. Your time has come. Skull boss. Circle strafe to win. Circle strafe to win. He's actually almost dead already. Well, that was easy. And we get a scythe and a bunch of random junk. And nunchucks. I'll look into that in a bit. Got, oh, free skill point. Nice. Pumping that into speed. Oh yeah, now it's noticeable. Okay, so let's sell some stuff. Scythe. Okay, life, no? Well, one way or another, I'm gonna sell the bomb. Let's keep the scythe. Uh... Sell the grenades. Sell the lightsaber. Sell the electric explosion. Not that helpful. Darkness storm. All right, I was gonna mess around with this. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can sell my super weapons. Guess I should start using them more often. Problem is the shuriken is just too good. It's like, how can you beat a unlimited ammo fast shooting shotgun thing? Sort of. I guess it's less shotgun and more, well, spread fire. But uh, tomato, potato, surprisingly similar yet completely different. Yeah, let's, uh, oh yeah, what's the other thing? Damage 1, cooldown 6, size. Oh, they're completely procedurally generated. Well, I'll try both. So the scythe is no good. Nunchucks are no good. This grenade's no good. This rainbow grenade. Might be good. I'm glad that the shopkeeper uh, pauses time. Same thing with uh, modifying your character. Oh, I wonder if gold carries over between runs, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, whatever you die with, you can bring with you onto the next one. Alright, we're on the moon? Moon zone! And I've got a... I've got a helmet. That's adorable. Okay. I feel like I'm playing uh, Commander Keen with these enemies. I don't know how many of you guys ever played Commander Keen growing up, but that was that game was my jam. Am I just I'm destroying craters? You'd think I'd be making craters, not destroying them. Well, oh shopkeeper. Okay. Uh, I got 200 gold. Let's buy a skill point. Probably just going to use it entirely on uh, speed. Being able to outmaneuver my... Oh, wow. wonder if the moon zone improves my jump even more. But uh, I I'm just going to focus on speed for the time being. Not having to uh, worry about getting uh, cornered is super useful. And considering at this point my damage is ridiculous, I'm actually halfway tempted to get rid of the piercing in favor of another damage up. I wish you could put an artifact on uh, on the pistol, honestly. It would also be nice if they're just uh, straight up like character bonuses. Okay, let's... No, no, that's split. Oh, we don't have piercing. Okay. Okay, so this is going to reduce the amount of shots I'm shooting out, but it'll make them pierce. I'll think about it. Yeah, it'd be nice if there were different levels of split, because I see split plus plus, but, you know, is there ever going to be a split plus plus plus? Well, I'm just going to start wasting some of my uh, super weapons here, because at this point, like, my inventory is full. And we might as well start picking them up. Oh. I can, uh, I can skip the waiting timer. 
That makes sense. <laughs> Was that rainbow grenade? That might have been rainbow rainbow grenade in action. Yeah, it's got a long cooldown. Seems kind of like it. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I'm just going to burn through most of my, um... I'm going to burn through most of my supers, I think. Should probably stop a little bit. It's a sticky grenade launcher. Yeah, so that's them flying up into the sky based on... Oh, tiny EXP potion. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, it also does not help that most of these seem like they're complete junk. We are also getting a silly amount of those. Okay, uh... I got two skill points, I need four. And I don't don't have enough money. I guess we might as well just keep firing this. Because my pistol is generally better than everything. I think this one's legitimately better. But, but yeah, a couple of these are probably better than my my pistol. Uh-oh. Wait, no, that's that's mine. Oh, that's cool. Like a bunch of little drones that help me out. Let me guess boss time. Boss time. You've soiled my rock with your human filth. Ah! Bah! <laughs> Is the boss already dead? I don't know. I don't... I don't know what's going on here. I should probably be more aggressive about moving because it keeps popping up underneath me. Okay, this boss is kind of not alright. Oh! He's got little alien minions that are hitting me too. Okay, so it's not the boss that's the problem. It's his goons that I'm walking into unwittingly. Because I'm not even paying attention. Well, I'm just going to, uh... I'm just going to hit him with, uh... Everything. So he's getting shorter, from what I can tell. That's... that's good. Okay, boss is more okay now. Oh, these sound effects. These sound effects will be, uh... turned off for the next episode. Right now, unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, luxury of doing so. We definitely need more skill points into speed. At least we get a bunch of goodies to work with, including skill points. Oh, and some hamburgers. Be nice if the uh, shopkeeper would show up. Well, I guess I'll start put it, uh, pumping my money into hamburgers. Laser beam poison. I'm just gonna sell most melee weapons. Okay. Oh, that's, that's how that works. What else do we have? Fortify strength, amethyst, strength, amethyst, HP. Might as well just burn through a couple of these uh, less than useful things. Okay. So I think, let's try, let's sell some of these split shots. We got homing, bullet speed, size, and Damage. Let's try taking piercing off in favor of more more damage. Uh, let's see. Really should try using some of these. Well, that's okay. That was hectic. Anyway, this is actually probably a pretty good stopping point for this episode. Uh, so, 
I like this game. It's mostly just kind of a fun, casual romp through tons of useless and weak enemies and stuff like that. Uh, the, the guns are fun. Mainly the power-ups are fun and the super weapons are kind of neat and interesting. I, I, I think I'd rather it if you only had one gun, but your, uh, your artifacts set up, uh, applied to whatever your gun, like your currently held gun is. That would be so much more fun. Oh well, not the end of the world. I like the variety and it's kind of fun to mess around with. So I guess with this, um, we'll be, we'll be ending it here and picking this back up, uh, tomorrow. But I, I should mention this, this video was brought to you, uh, unwittingly by the, uh, the good people, uh, supporting me on Patreon and GameWisp. And more so, uh, brought to you by Endergrim, who had suggested this game. I don't think I'm going to go much more than, uh, this full run, as well as a little bit in the dungeons, because I want to, I want to see how the dungeons work. Um, and mess around with that. Maybe, maybe I'll play with, like, Bird, or as, like, kind of a casual fun thing at some point. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but, yeah, so... Uh, thanks guys for picking this up, and if you do want to support, like, kind of weird random games like this, uh, check out my Game Wisp on my Patreon. I got links, uh, down in the description below, and I'll just be doing random things like this every once in a while. Uh, pulled from Game Wisp for Patreon suggestions. So, I guess with that, again, uh, thanks, uh, to all my supporters on Game Wisp Patreon. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.